going on, you savage sorcerers? My name is David. In this video, I'm going to be talking about Magic the Gathering and opening up 45 packs of M19. And the reason why I'm opening up 45 packs of M19 is because uh, my favorite way to play Magic, if you'll notice if you haven't already logged into the game today, uh, the store has changed, but my favorite way to play Magic is control. And M19, if I open up these 45 packs, I get a guaranteed Nexus of Fate. Probably uh, my favorite card at the moment. So if I look you through the history of my playing, I have my four copies of Nexus of Fate. Love it. Um, and that's the reason for that. But um, I've always played Control Magics, going back to 1994, when I first started playing, when Alpha, Beta, Unlimited was all still on the shelves. Revised was like brand new, um, but those other sets cost three, four, five times as much, and I was a high school student, so we didn't know the value of the game at the time, obviously, and didn't understand, and I literally traded someone an island and a forest for a tropical island because I gave him two cards that did the same thing as that one card did. And that, like, that was the value that we had on the game. He got two for one. He thought he got a good deal. Um, but, and, and I didn't understand that, you know, tropical island was going to be that good at the time. I was you know, like 14 years old, 13 years old. Uh, but, you know, I've always played control magic. And, you know, I wish I had... Um, so I'm looking through these cards, and I'm going to show them all at, the, at some point. I One of my favorite decks of all time was Stasis, which I don't have a copy of right now. And it's not terribly expensive. I could probably get a, a you know, hold of one if I wanted to. But the idea was to lock down your opponent. You know, they can't do anything. And then I'd play a Sarah Angel. And then just kill him because it didn't tap. Uh, as long as I can keep the upkeep on stasis, which if you needed to, you should have the ability to bring it back to your hand at the end of their turn, untap everything you own, put stasis back, and then pay the upkeep again almost unlimitedly. Uh, one of the keys to that deck was uh, Kismet. Well, focus. Yeah, like basically everything comes in un comes in tapped. Awesome. Works perfect with stasis. Um, another version of that deck that I always loved was uh, the Winter Orb deck. Which, if you control their land, that's like one revised signed copy and three fourth edition. But all their lands come in untap. Un all their lands are, they can only untap one land. Which, you know, paired with another control card, they can unt untap that land, but then during their upkeep, I fucking tap it, because I have icy manipulators. Love control. And then, when you don't care how much they play, because they can't do anything, you always love the Howling Minds. Go ahead, draw an extra card. I'm going to draw, draw an extra card, but I can use it. Uh, but, you know, going beyond that was uh, the Millstone deck. So I've got four Antiquities Millstones. And I loved, just, I love milling people. Just, they couldn't play a thing. I'm not going to kill you. I'm just going to deck you. I love that sort of control. And so, you know, in the spirit of that, you know, last standard, that, uh, Turbo Fog deck was was kind of in effect, hence I have four Nexus of Fates. And then there's there are some Turbo Mill decks going on around. Going, they're, they're sort of okay. I don't think it's as good as back in the day. Um, like even if you look at my shirt, M MTG Arena. 
<laughs> this shirt is not about this game. This is about something that happened a very long time ago. I think 1995, 1996. Somewhere around that time frame, there was this thing that you could do. It wasn't like local game store tournaments. It was just a, a, like a ongoing event. You just go into a local store. There had to be an arena judge, which is what the shirt is for. And you play a game. And you put it on record. If you won, you know, you get credit for it. If you lost, you get credit for that too. Um, but the deck that I played in one of those seasons was Red White Control. And like, how do you play Control without uh, without Blue? I mean, it's kind of simple. You just kill everything. And then eventually you kill your opponent. I think at the time, you know, I played uh, Wrath of God, Armageddon. Lightning Bolts, Incinerates, I think Ice Age was out. Um, yeah, you just prevent your opponent from doing anything, and you kill them. Like, I'm going to fireball you for 10. I'll fireball you for 10. And you could fork it at the time, which fork is very similar to some, some new cards like Double Cast and other effects. Basically, you just copy what you just did for two red mana uh, and do it again. So... Love that time of the game. Um, but yeah, let's just get into opening some packs. And I can obviously talk some more as we go through this. So opening up 40, I'm going to do this. I just bought a $20,000, $20,000, 20,000 gem pack, which is a hundred bucks, 99.99. And I'm going to use about half of it on this uh, 45 packs. The other half I'll probably use on some events because uh, the new set just came out. Got a pack here. It's, this is the new set, Ravnica Allegiance. What do we get? Both Chamber Guardian. Tap two, one of. Whenever one or more plus one plus scanners are put on Growth Chamber Champion, you may search your library for a card named. But. But. I feel like that takes too much combos to make effective, but. Let's open up the M19. Wait, what? All right, well, I guess we're going to open these packs later because the store is broken from the patch that just happened. So, hope you guys appreciated the information so far. And if you do, please uh, follow, like, and, you know, let me know what you want to see.